Okay, great. Now, I'll tell you what, because there are a lot of sick kids around school kind of this week, rather than just inviting you in, I'm going to keep the potentially sick children in here, and I'm going to talk to you right here, okay? okay. Great. Okay. Um, do you know what kind of flu uh, is coming around the school? Well, in the community, we use flu. Sometimes we talk about flu and we're talking about throwing up and having diarrhea, you know. But really, influenza, we also talk about that as being flu, um, that's generally more of a respiratory disease and a fever and headache and just feeling like you got hit by a truck. All right, so we do have influenza. We've had students with influenza here at York Elementary School and in the community. There's people with influenza, either influenza A or influenza B. And so, yeah, there's people around with influenza, and there's also kids that are home, you know, because of more of the stomach flu or the colds or bronchitis, just kind of the normal winter things. So, yes, we do have influenza. How many kids do you think have been sick this week? Well, one day this week, there were just over 60 kids that were gone from school ill. Um, that was, I think, Tuesday. But now today, I just looked, and there's 30, 35 that are home ill. There are others that are gone, either for appointments, or they're still on vacation, or they went to their brother's wrestling meet, you know, that type of thing. But, so, where there were 60 early in the week, we're down to 35. And I hope, then, you guys are going to have Monday off, too, that will be, by next week, will be quite a bit healthier. I think in the winter... Um, any, you know, there's probably 20 kids gone sick every day, you know, with something kind of in the winter with colds and things like that. Oh, okay. How can you keep yourself from getting sick? Well, with, with anything, how you keep yourself from getting any disease really is one of the main things is good hand washing, okay? Um, so, and hand washing, you know, between your fingers, sing the ABC song like we teach the little kids, you know, to sing ABC all the way through instead of just, you know, rinse your hands. Then, after you've washed your hands and you grab the paper towel, use the paper towel to shut off the faucet rather than touching the faucet again because you touched that with your dirty hand. And then you use the paper towel, like, to get out the door. So if you're in the bathroom here, you wash your hands while you sing ABC, and then you grab the paper towel just by doing this, and then you dry your hands, you use that paper towel to shut off the faucet, and then you use the paper towel to open the door, and you throw the paper towel away, so then you haven't touched anything dirty once you got your hands cleaned. Mm -hmm. And you need to wash your hands, you know, before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, don't sneeze in your hands, you will sneeze in the crook of your arm. Um... You know, lots of doorknobs around school really would have probably cold viruses and stuff on them. Then the other important thing is to keep your fingers, which are dirty, away from your eyes and your nose. You know, those posters that we have up about the T-zone, watch the T-zone. Don't put your fingers there and there and there. That'd be another way to stay healthy. <laughs> now, with influenza, though, there is a vaccine that you can get in the fall Oops, that sorry. will... <laughs> um, generally protect you from influenza. Now, some people have had their influenza shots and they still have gotten influenza. So it's not 100% guaranteed, but like I get an influenza shot in the fall and my husband and my grandkids get influenza shots and that's to help us stay healthy. So some things you can immunize against. Oh, okay. Thanks for the information. Well, yeah. thanks for coming by and some other day when I don't have maybe sick kids in here, you can come in and we can sit down and talk instead of keeping you at the doorway. Okay. okay? Great. Thank you. What are you doing? This. What's it supposed to be? I don't know. You don't know either? It fails. What do you think you girls are doing in here? She, she was drawing a terrible picture. 
What does pictures have to do? What was she doing, Bailey? She ruined my picture. Oh, this is a nice picture. It looks bad. It's a nice picture. You should stop bullying people. Because you can get someone in hurt, and you... I'm going to have to talk to your parents about this. Here you go. Thank you. Now remember, no bullying. It can get people hurt. It can make people get hurt, and it can make people feel bad. is probably 16 years. Yeah, since it's been here. And uh, are you doing anything special with the, kin uh, with the first graders? With the first graders, right now we're starting to learn about matter, solids, liquids, and gases. Mm -hmm. So yes, and we've been doing a lot of snow things. Uh, we've been doing some experiments about finding out if your mittens really do keep your hands warm or it's your body temperature that's trapped inside the mittens that keeps your temperatures warm. Oh, cool. Have you taught any other grades? Never. Always first grade. I even student taught first grade. That's pretty cool. Well, I, it is cool because I love to, to help with the, lear the beginning learners, the beginning readers. It's been fun to watch kids learn how to read in first grade, so that's probably one of the best things about first grade. Do you enjoy helping out with the kids? Absolutely, or you wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you can't work with kids and not enjoy it because, you know, you hope that you make a difference in their lives, but I think they've made much more of a difference in my life than I have for them. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Bailey. And Savannah. And Taya. And Andrea. Thank you for watching Duke Vision.